assigned to operate the Galactic Empire's ground assault vehicles, or GAVs for short. Imperial tank troopers piloted everything from infantry transports to heavily armed combat assault tanks. For example, those assigned to the small desert moon of Jeddah primarily operated the mighty TX-225, this particular GAV with its destructive firepower and almost impenetrable armour was tasked with transporting containers of locally sourced kyber crystals throughout the narrow and congested avenues of the holy city. But before each shipment could reach awaiting star destroyers for transport off world, tank troopers faced many deadly obstacles. Whether it be grenades, mines, or insurgent snipers, GAV crews had to rely upon coordinated actions between multiple unit types for maximum effectiveness. In fact, Army Doctorine specifically paired each unit with either adequate air or orbital cover, not to mention accompanying infantry personnel whenever possible often belittling their stormtrooper counterparts as tiny tanks and lightfoots, who in turn used the moniker Fire Magnet to describe the TX-225, tank troopers usually operated in groups of three. So while a driver piloted the craft and serviced both the track drive and powertrain systems, a gunner maintained its combat readiness when not firing the mounted weaponry. The third member of the crew, a commander who distinguished himself with unique grey markings, sat atop the tank to coordinate the movements of nearby infantry and vehicles, as well as the GAV crew itself. Of course, due to both the cramped nature and thick skin of the TX-225, such units donned flexible partial suits of plastoid plates. This incarnation of Stormtrooper armour happened to be one of several variations designed for tank troopers. Each upgrade reflected improvements in versatility and specialisation of the vehicle operator ranks. Having said all of that, Imperial tank troopers were ever ready for attacks upon their shipments of kyber crystals, making them hardier than the likes of Corellia's patrol troopers. But which of the two aforementioned stormtrooper variants do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. If you've learned something new from today's video, be sure to leave a like. To help out the channel that little bit extra, please do consider pledging to our Patreon page and for all things inside Star Wars, press that subscribe button and notification bell. Thanks for watching.